Messiah, Majesty, Messiah, Majesty. Yeah. Every day, your praise will come from me, for your faithfulness was me. May Zion Majesty, every day, your praise will surely be a scene of joy for me, our Savior. Your praise will come from me, for your faithfulness towards me. May Zion majesty, every day, your praise will surely be a scene of joy for me. Father in heaven, we thank you. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the power, all the praise, the maker of the heavens and the earth and the seas. And everything that in them is, Lord, unto you are we gathered, reveal secrets to us. May our hearts indict a good matter. And may we leave this class better than the way we came. Take all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. Champions, shout fire! Shout oro! Shad Muzozo, Shad Mafura, Shad Onction, Shad Mafura, Shad Onction. Amen and amen. I want to thank the person of the Holy Spirit for the privilege to be here. Say thank you, Holy Spirit. And also, want to thank our most holy father, Papa Joshua Igila. Say we love you, Papa. All right, let's stand to our feet. Let's walk up to 10 persons. 10 is the number of government and authority. Say to the person, it's so nice to see you. And ask the person, how is your week going? Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Are you happy to be in church? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Some of you, you sound bitty. Oh. <laughs> so, are you really happy to be in yes, church? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Say, I'm happy to be in I'm church. I'm happy to be in church. Praise God. Hallelujah.
we began a discourse yes, sir. Yes, sir. on the anointed and suicide. Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. yes sir. Praise God. Hallelujah. And it's very, very important that you understand um, what we are trying to communicate. Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. You know, it's very sad that um, in many church organizations, um, they have experienced a lot of uh, suicide experiences amongst members, mm. even amongst ministers. Yes. 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 Records of ministers mm. taking overdose and But one thing that people don't know is that no matter how much you try to understand why a person can commit suicide, mm -hmm. yeah. even as much as even a minister, a Christian, you will never get that answer outside of the word of God. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Because there's an answer for everything. Yes, now, sir. For me, I, I see people who commit suicide as people who carry a lot of boldness. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It, it takes boldness to yeah, me that's commit suicide. Yes, sir. But you, you need to understand that primarily according to the word of God the reason why people commit suicide yes, is because of the word defeat mm. wow yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir because the moment you are defeated yes, in a particular area of interest mm. particularly where you feel you have made tremendous investments. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it yes, looks sir. like yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you were not able to achieve yes. the desired results. Yes, In many instances, you feel so ashamed and defeated. Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. yes sir. Because now, those who are out there who know how much investment you have made yes. we begin to see didn't I tell you yes. you see now you see um, there are certain things as an individual I'm, I'm speaking for myself now Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. There are certain things I can never do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Relax. There are certain things I can never do or ever allow to happen to me. Yes, sir. One, to be defeated. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can't let anything defeat me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, I'll tell you why. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I have a mindset, and maybe if you like what I'm about to say, you can adopt it. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. If I ever lose anything, mm -hmm. the first thing I do, which is why I can't allow defeat, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't blame anyone. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the first thing yes, I always do. Yes, sir. I don't blame anybody. Yes, sir. Even if there are people to blame, yes, sir. I don't do it. Mm -hmm. An angel taught me that. Yes, sir. 
That's why I can't let anything defeat me. Yes, sir. I don't blame anybody. Yes, sir. And of course, you may have a genuine reason for blaming uh, someone. You see, over the years that I've been a minister, things have happened over the years in my life as a minister and in the church where we incurred a lot of losses, many things. And each time I pray to the Lord, the Lord will tell me it was your fault. Mm. Always. Yes, so an angel came to give me a revelation of a particular thing mm. that I was asking God for some years back that I'd even forgotten. Mm. So I asked the angel, why is it that any time I pray to the Lord and concerning something that happened, the Lord always the Lord always said to me, "It is my fault." Why does the Lord always blame me? He said, "Actually, the Lord is not blaming you. The Lord is trying to help you." Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I said, "How?" The Lord is trying to help you. How? For you not to be defeated. Wow. Yes, sir. So he makes you bear the responsibility. So that you you will not be defeated. Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. yes, sir. yes sir. I said, really? Sir? So I said, Lord, I thank you for blaming me. <laughs> and then the angel said, if you do this, you will live past 65. Wow. 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 Because there was one, I, I knew one time I had done something wrong some years back and I was told I would not live past 65. Wow. Wow. So I said, okay, no problem. 65 is good. At least Jesus died at 33. <laughs> Damn. When the angel told me this, he said, that's the secret. If you're going to ever live past 65, mm. and there's so much for you to do, mm. one, don't accept defeat. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. I said, how? By not blaming others. Yes, because if you do, mm. it means you've just accepted defeat. Yes, sir. Now, I know it's not something you can do, but it's something I live by. I don't blame anybody for anything that has ever happened to me since I knew this. I don't blame anybody. I don't. If you ask my folks who live with me, they'll tell you I don't blame people. If I address a matter now, now, that's all. I always say, actually, it's not really your fault. You are even helping me out. I don't blame people. Yes, sir. Why? Because that's actually the primary cause of suicide. Mm. Wow. Defeat. Defeat. Yes, sir. Defeat. Defeat. I'm Superman, yeah, yeah. And you see, defeat is so powerful mm -hmm. that it can paralyze your anointing. Mm -hmm. Defeat is so powerful. The one thing that can cripple a man's anointing and grace. Is defeat. Wow. Even Jesus was defeated. Mm. Yes, sir. He had to even cry out, the venerable anointed Jesus. 
cried out, Why had thou forsaken me? Even before then, he said, Let this cup pass from me. Defeat was imminent. And what did Jesus do? He blamed it on Judas Iscariot. Mm. He blamed it. Oh, I thank God for that angel. He said, never blame anyone for whatever happens to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Never. That's why I don't blame people. Yes, sir. <laughs> so that I can live longer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And non blaming people means I refuse to accept defeat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I guess you yes, are. I refuse to accept defeat. So, what is it right now mm. you are blaming people for? Mm. You, you know, I, I always wonder why people say, if my mother was in my life, if my father was there for me. Why does your father need to be there for you? Mm. There's nothing wrong if he's there. Yes, sir. yes, sir. But why should your father be there for you so that you can excel? Mm. I don't get it. Mm. Uh, Oga Pastor, you just graduated from college. Was your father there for you? <laughs> she just graduated from college. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She's yes, a sir. pastor. Yes, sir. Her father was not really there. Yes, 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 sir. yes, sir. All the years she was going to school. Wow. Some of you don't know some of the people around us. Yes, sir. We have peculiar stories. Yes, sir. <laughs> How many times did your father visit you on campus? Never. He never wow. did. He lives in America, but never did. They all live together in the same house. Never, never visited her on campus. If your father visits you on campus, that's good. Did your father ever visit you on campus, my friend? No, sir. <laughs> I don't know why my, 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 my family does not want me to go. What do you need them for? <laughs> See, you are trying to find a reason to not excel. Wow, yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. When you point fingers mm. are people yes, sir. for why things see listen I, I told you sometimes in, in the course of preaching I can talk about like some previous relationships I was in and sometimes I say waka shake and all that <laughs> the thing is this uh, it's just in the lines of teaching yes. Yes, but sir. I don't blame them actually I don't yes, blame anyone yes, I don't. <laughs> Honestly, I don't. Yes, sir. One time, actually, because of the several people who have lived with us over the years, I appointed someone to be in charge of the bills for the house. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She has access to the account. Once the bill comes, Pay. Yes, sir. So one, so all the meals for the bills, I, I don't usually open them. Yes, but for some reason, the Lord said, "Open them." And I opened, and I saw a huge bill, mm -hmm. several thousands of dollars, mm -hmm. and I called this person. I said, "Come on, man! I didn't even ask you to go and look for money." I give you access to the account. Once the bill come, pay. You just made me incur losses. I was very upset. But at the end, I said to the person, it's really not your fault. It was because I put you in charge of it. And I had to pay. I didn't tell the person, give me money. No, 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 no. One thing I don't allow is to carry the mindset 
of defeat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because you see, that thing you think is nothing right now. And you call it a minor setback. Mm. That thing is a sword that you will fall on. Mm. And it will kill you. Wow. Wow. That thing you call a minor setback. And you look at you as the cause of it. Listen, it's good to have friends. Please answer me. Yes, sir. It's good to have friends. Yes, sir. But you need to understand that there are friends, there are friends, there are some of your friends that cannot manage success. Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. yes, sir. yes sir. And so anything that pertains to your success, don't give it to them to manage for yes, you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because that's what you will kill you. And the thing is that they will be alive to cry for you. <laughs> they will be alive to cry for you. They will be alive to cry for you. When you die. I want to show you something. Defeat. Defeat. The only way to not accept defeat, no matter the setback. Yes, sir. The only way to not accept defeat and be defeated is what? Never blame people. Never blame people. Else. Never blame people. Yes, sir. If it's a husband that was the reason why you missed an opportunity, don't blame him. Yes. Even if he comes and says, I'm sorry. Mm. Take your mind off it. Yes. At least now you know next time you can't count on him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even if he says, is it because I made that mistake last night? I say, no, 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 no. I was just trying to be there on time. Yes, but I told you to wait for me. Man, you know, I just needed to be there on time so that I can see the environment. Just change the subject. Trivialize it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah? I don't know that that can help you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, I, I want you to see something. Uh, this lesson is very important it, and it's delicate because it's like a piece of dress but because of the sensitivity of the fabric I'm trying to see how I can pass the needle through yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. in sewing it yes, sir. Yes, sir. now there is a particular group of people who blame themselves for somebody else's demise so when they see someone fair or fall, they say, oh, it was because of me. It was because of me. I, I was the cause of it. Why do you think you were the cause of it? Oh, if I had done what the person really wanted me to do, or maybe if I just allowed one conversation, if I had just done that thing, the person still would have been alive. Why do you think that way. Mm. Why do you really think you doing what you wanted to do could have made any difference? Mm. Why on earth would you even think that way? Mm. It means you're just funny. Mm. Hey, let's show you something. Um, go to Second Samuel. Chapter 1. I, I want you to see something in verses 14. Let me give you a background to this. King Saul had just died in a battle. Of course, he took his own life. But, and King David had run away as a fugitive. Mm. And, um, There was a guy called there was a guy from the tribe of the Amalekites who came to see King David and brought the crown and uh, brought the crown of King Saul and the ring to King David and said, Oh blessed 
Oh, blessed of the Lord. Yes. Here's the crown of King Saul and all his kingly ornaments. So, King David looked at him. At this time, King David was not yet king, even though he had been anointed. He said, uh, who are you? He said, oh, I'm an Amalekite. Where are you coming from? Oh, uh, actually, I was actually at the battle between the Philistines and Israel. And the battle was so fierce that even the Israelites were so defeated, there was no way they could survive. Mm -hmm. And then even King Saul too. And uh, he was in a vulnerable place, so I lifted up my sword and killed him, knowing that you, King David, you are the one God chose to replace him. Uh -huh. oh. You see, just because you know someone's story yes, sir. of what the person is supposed to be doing yes, sir. because of a prophecy mm. doesn't mean you should help the person. Yes, sir. Wow. Doesn't yes, mean so. Sir. Yes, sir. It's like a lady receives a prophecy. Your wedding is going to be very great. You're going to have a very great wedding. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then you say you will help her by connecting her to Jeff Bezos' cousin. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Who, who told you <laughs> that prophecy needs your help? Mm. You yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. You need to understand there are certain help you should never render. Yes. Yes, Particularly sir. when you know it will aid the realization of a prophecy. Yes. If God never told you to be or help, mm. never do it. Yes, sir. Mm. Because you might just be destroying yourself. Mm. Now, this guy, he knew the story very well. And the story of King David replacing King Saul was not new in Israel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was common. It was, every, yes, sir. it was a common knowledge. And so this guy said, and this guy was not even a Jew, an Amalekite. Mm -hmm. He said, uh, I decided to help you, King. And he expected King David now to be very, very grateful yeah. and happy yes, sir. Yes, sir. for this help. Yes, sir. Look at verses 14. Can you read verses 14 for me, please? Please don't read as though you are frustrated. Yes, sir. Oh, you want to read like an Amalekite. Don't do that. Read. Like a Christian. One to go. And David said unto him, How was thou not afraid to stretch forth thy hand to the shore the Lord's anointed? You see that? How come you are not afraid to attack, to destroy the Lord's anointed? Meanwhile, he even lied. He didn't even do anything to consult. But he just wanted a commendation. Yes. At least now King David will be king. King David will honor him. Yes. 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 <laughs> and he's shocked now. And if you read the preceding verses, before these verses 14, King David spent the whole day thinking, how can this guy kill Saul? Do you know who King Saul is? King Saul was the tallest man in Israel. Yes. Wow. Yes, sir. Yet he was not a giant. Wow. The Bible says he was swifter than an eagle. When yes. he fights, yes. he moves like lightning. Wow. Wow. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. So even King David knew the man was even lying. lying. Oh, oh, yes, sir. King Saul threw a javelin once yes, at David. Yes, and the javelin went through the wall. Yes. Wow. Everything entered. Wow. That's the force. Yes. And this guy said he killed King Saul. Mm. But ah, 
King David said, you are not even afraid wow. to acknowledge even the fall wow. of God's anointed. Oh. Wow. Like the way they do today on social media. They want to say certain things about men of God. Uh, Who are you? <laughs> you see, some people, in, in the Bible days, there was this thing called immediate judgment. Immediate judgment. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so when people did certain things, there was almost to nothing a quick, immediate judgment. judgment. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, we live in a day where you will not necessarily see an immediate judgment. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But people don't care to ask why. Mm. Mm. Yes, they think that God mm. has changed. Yeah. The difference between then and now is the word mercy. Yes, yes, mercy. Yes, mercy is what is holding God's hand back. Yes, yes, That's why you think you can insult or set up a man of God and you think you get away with it. You, in fact, that nothing even happened is a proof that God is already angry but his mercy is holding him. But never forget one thing. God will never give up on revenge. One thing God does not do God has never ever given up on revenge. Wow. Wow. Never. Wow. Wow. Let's read something to you. Go to First uh, Samuel chapter 15. Let's show you something. The children of Israel left Egypt yes, and they were journeying towards the promised land. Yes, sir. And Moses was leading six three to six million Jews to the promised land. Yes, sir. And it so happened now that um, there were certain nations he knew he needed to go through their border. Yes, yeah, sir. Yes, yes, sir. But in order to avoid any form of skirmish, he would write a letter mm -hmm. and send emissaries. Yes, sir. The yes, first sir. nation he wrote to was Ammon. Yes, yes, sir. I yes, said, we are your brothers. Yeah, Give yes. us passage. Yes, if we touch anything, we'll pay for it. If yes, we drink sir. anything, we'll pay for it. Yes, sir. And he began to tell them how God has given them victory from the Pharaoh. Yes, which Ammon sir. already knew. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ammon said, no, don't come this way. Oh. It's one of the reasons why they journeyed for 40 years. Yes, wow. Because nations were rejecting them. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And so they went the other way. The other way. Follow this carefully. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then they got to, to, as they were getting close to the borders of Moab, they wrote to the king of Moab, please give us passage. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If we touch anything, we'll pay for it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Said no. So they turned. Moab said no. So they turned. Now, you need to understand. Moses told the king of Ammon and the king of Moab, We are brethren. If we touch anything, we'll pay for it. Yes. Yes, sir. When he said so, he was not lying. Mm. Because yes, Moses and the Hebrews, the children of Israel, they were descendants of Abraham. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And Abraham was an uncle to Lot. Yes, sir. Who, when they left Sodom and Gomorrah, when Lot left Sodom and Gomorrah with his two daughters, yes. the two daughters made him drunk yes, sir. and then had intercourse with them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The first daughter had a son, which was named Ammon. Yes, sir. 
Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Which yes, sir. became a people called the Amorites. Yes, yes, and then the second daughter became pregnant and had a son called Moab. Yes, sir. Which became the Moabites. So you yes, found out that they were all relatives. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But they still said, no, don't come here. And God decided he was going to attack Ammon and Moab. Yeah. Yes, now, let me tell you something. Yes, I know that our president, President Joe Biden right now, is in a very, very tight spot yes, when it comes yes, to immigration. Yes, yes, sir. But you see, in listening to the Republican folks over the immigration this thing, yes, sir. is what is causing these shootings. Wow. In case you don't know. Wow. Yes. <laughs> wow. When you see people who are suffering, journeying to your country and you refuse to open your borders for them to help them yes, with their children, yes, God does not play with things like that. Yes, it is true the president wants to help, but again, the way those Republicans, and the Republicans now who claim they are Christians, they yes, know the sir. Bible, yeah. those things are there in the Bible yes, and they will not. Yes, sir. It's sad. Mm. And the way they fight over the ownership of America as though they were the original owners of this country. They themselves were immigrants too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's true. But anyway, Lord have mercy. I'm telling you, quite frankly, America, I just pray America will not be like a wailing woman mm. on the grounds of God withdrawing his mercy. Oh. And by that we mean God withdrawing good leaders from this nation mm. and allow the wicked ones to rule so that the people will see for themselves. Yeah. Donald Trump was just there for four years. Yeah. People shouted, even the world shouted. Yeah. And he wanted to rule forever. And God said, not so. And America is still not learning. God now gave us a good leader like President Joe Biden. They say he's weak. He's antichrist. He's an agent of darkness. And the president now, okay. He wants to just balance things. Because he has to play on every side. And the unfortunate thing is that the more things are getting worse, the more the people yes, are still blaming him. Hey. As though they themselves can do better. Oh, yes. Anyway, let's leave that. So, Ammon said, don't come this way. Moab said, don't come this way. So, they said, okay, fine. Let, let's go through Amalek, the nation of Amalek. So, they wrote a letter to Amalek and said, Amalek, please, we are your brothers. Give us passage. Yes, Moab already said no. Ammon already said no. But please, we believe you give us passage. If we touch anything, we'll pay for it. If we drink water, we'll pay for it. Just like the way now they are saying caravans are coming from Cuba, mm -hmm. from all those places, yeah, yeah. and they want to come to America, and Haitians to another, yes, yes, through the Mexico yes, border. Yes, and America is saying no. The thing is not that the president doesn't care about these people. He's just, he's in a tight spot, I understand. God will help him. Amen. It's just Amen. unfortunate that um, many Americans have lost their compassion, quite frankly. Mm. And Jesus actually said it. He said the love of men who wax cold. Because even the one who is trying to show love, they see him as an agent of darkness. Amen. It's just sad. What? It's sad. It's too. What is shameful to me is not even the politics. Mm -hmm. What is really, really shameful to me and disappointing to me is the gospel of the white evangelicals yes, who think that they are in line with God. Hey. <laughs> it's just sad. But anyway, even the blacks now, the black churches are not even doing anything better. You understand? That's the truth. They're not really doing much. And they don't even intend to do much. They like the gospel of being oppressed. 
you know, there's, there's many of those black churches. That's what they do. Anyway, let's mind our business. Thompson, where do you stand? I don't belong to any of the camps at all. Okay. Now, Amalek said, no, don't come this way. But not only did Amalek say, no, don't come, Amalek now went behind and started attacking Israel. And Israel walked in a procession. Moses and the men were in front with the priests. And then the women were next to the men. And then the children were behind. So you find out that Amalek, when they came attacking Israel, it was the children that they killed. So God swore he will attack Amalek forever. We told you, God, one thing God will never, never change his mind on is revenge. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See? Samuel said unto Saul, The Lord sent me to anoint thee to be king over his people, over Israel. Now therefore hearken thou unto the voice of the words of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord of hosts. Be fast, please. Verse 2. I remember that which Amalek did to Israel. How he laid wait for him in the way when he came up from Egypt. Now go and smite Amalek and utterly destroy all that they have and spare them not, but slay both men and women, infant and sucklings, ox and sheep, camel and ass. Destroy everything. But notice, God says, I remember. One thing God does not forget is revenge. So you may think laughing at a man of God, speaking against a man of God, you have escaped. God does not forget. God does not forget. Because one from your generation must suffer it. And the thing is that the way God will attack that person, eh, that's the thing. You need to understand. Oh, if you study God's nature, when God is angry, he's unreasonable. Yes, sir. That's why even on Judgment Day, he wants books to be opened to judge you according to your works. And if you study that Revelation chapter 20, you will never see where God uttered the word, but he will be sitting listening as they are opening books. So that, because if God is to do the judgment, he can destroy beyond measure. One thing God does not change his mind on his vengeance. Yes, sir. When he says, touch not my anointed, he means it. Yes, sir. This thing is not an Old Testament doctrine. Yes, sir. He means it. Yes, sir. And he will never stop. Yes, sir. He will never stop. Wow. <laughs> you know, somebody once did us wrong and I was so upset. I didn't say it to the person, but I was in, in, uh, I was in my room. I was so angry thinking about it. I started, I, I started, uh, honestly, I was angry. I said, I will, I will cause this person. I said, Lord, this person. As I was saying, the Lord said, no, 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 don't do that. Come on, man. Why would you even want to do that? The things I've already arranged, I was going to say. And, and so the Lord said, no, no, don't do that. This was some years back. Then, for some reason, I just said to the Lord, I said, but Lord, you know, you that is even telling me not to do it, you know you are still going to deal with this person. <laughs> the Lord said, that's why I said, leave it to me. Yeah. You don't need to say anything. Yeah. So if you trust that what I'm going to do will be terrible, then leave it to me. <laughs> God, one thing God does not forget is revenge. Say it. One thing God does not forget is revenge. Yes. He already said that vengeance is mine. And I will pay. I will repay. One thing God does not stop is vengeance. So when that guy now said he killed Saul, King David said you were not even afraid to even say it. You are not even afraid. Now, the guy only said what he did not even do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
King David said, you should even be afraid. Mm. Yes, sir. You're not I getting get this. It, I get it, sir. <laughs> so I went to see the pastor. I gave him a piece of my mind. Oh. You did. Oh. You did. Oh, Lord. <laughs> and what did the pastor say? He told me he's sorry. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You did. <laughs> eh? He knew it was wrong. <laughs> wow. That's an amazing discovery. Really? <laughs> oh, man. You've just put yourself in trouble. And the, the, the sad part now about the matter is that God does not die. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he does not forget. Yes, sir. You can forget. You can say, oh God, forgive me. I did not know. The first principle I learned in physics concerning nature yes, is that nature must always have a balance. Yes. Do you know what that means? Yes, that for every deficit yes, there must be a credit. So yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's even nature. Yes, sir. How much more the spiritual laws? Yes. Wow. So you told you told God, I'm sorry. God forgive you. He told you he forgive you. Did he tell you he forgive you? Did you even hear his voice when he said he forgive you? And you don't know why he kept quiet. And everything still looks... Uh, oh, everything wow. still looks good. Wow, yes, sir. <laughs> One question I want to ask you is that. Have you ever thought about a man of God deliberately doing something to set you up against oh, God? Wow. It has never crossed wow. your mind wow. that a man of God can look at you and say, I must make you God's enemy. Wow. Hey. And deliberately do something that will offend you. So that you can react. So that those laws can be activated. Wow. Today is not the class. I, I, I can give you 12 scriptures on that one. Wow. Where a man of God will deliberately do something that will upset you. <laughs> it has never crossed your mind. Oh, man. You don't understand. <laughs> God can tell a man of God, go and buy a Lamborghini. Mm. And he goes to buy a Lamborghini. And God can say, put it on social media. Oh. And put it on social media so that you can say something. Oh. Ah. Oh, then, at that point, you have closed your heavens oh, over financial prosperity. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you don't understand. You know, a, what God and what I just told you, oh. Jesus did it many times. Yes, yes, That's why, again, Danger told me, don't blame people. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Even those around you, irrespective of the mistakes they make, mm. see them as people who are trying to help you mm. rather yes, than trying to blame them. For why certain things happen. Yes. Because if you do, God will be angry with them oh. and He will attack them. That's why the angel told me never blame anyone. Yes, sir. Yeah. One day I was going to buy somebody a car and I entered the car, my car, and I was driving looking around for a nice car to buy as a surprise for the person. Then the Lord said, um, what, what do you want to do? I said, I just want to buy a car for this person, just to appreciate. Then the Lord said, but this person, you bought this person a car before. I said, yes, but I think that this person needs a car now and other. The Lord said, how did the person treat the previous car you gave? Mm. I said, Lord, ah, the person didn't do well. Then he said, go home. 
If you don't know what to do with that money, give it to church. And that was what I did. I put the money inside church. Don't buy the person a car. But talk to the person. Tell the person you were going to buy the person a car. I told you to stop. And when I told the person, the person was surprised. I said, I was actually going to buy you a car today. But the Lord told me not to buy you a car. Because you've not been treating the one he gave you well. Oh. One thing God does. You need to understand, God is very systematic yes. Yes, sir. in his approach. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The way God will attack you, you will never, never trace it to him. Yes. And that's the danger. That's the danger. Because now, if you not mistakenly start blaming others as the reason for your fall, Meanwhile, it, you, you fell because you had done something that God held against you. The very fact that you now blame others as the reason, even though they genuinely contributed to the fall, but you don't know God was behind it. God will now attack you more for blaming them wrongfully because God was the one using them to bring you down. <laughs> that is why when certain things don't go right for me, I always say, Lord, please tell me what is wrong with me. <laughs> I know you are nice. You, you don't need that. Father, please, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Ah, Lord, please. Forgive me for my foolishness. I, I believe I've done something that was foolish. That's why this thing happened. I believe I must have done something foolish. Ah, Lord, please forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. <laughs> now, let me show you something. King David said, Go back again to that Second Samuel chapter 1. Let's read something in that verse 14. I, I, want, you, I want you to see something because, you know, Uh, the Lord had told me once to behave in a certain way once. And I asked the Lord, why should I behave that way? It's really not in my character to act that way. The Lord said, don't worry. I just want you to do it. Anyway, there were some group of people I went somewhere who were critical about my conduct. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I was even angry that can the Lord tell me to behave in this foolish way? Let us just do it. Then one of them said something. And I didn't know when my eyes froze on him. And at that point, God already took over. To this day, I don't know what I said. But whatever I, whatever I said to that person is happening now in the person's life. Because God began to talk. God God is very very funny <laughs> you don't understand so you are trying to scare me no I'm not scaring you go and sit down you were already scared before you came I didn't try to scare you I'm even trying to even help you yes do you understand I'm trying as much as I can I'm trying to even help you yes I, okay. And David said, How was it that you were not afraid to stretch forth thy hand? The guy didn't even kill him. Yeah. But his mouth was what yeah. King David called hand. Yeah. Mouth. Because the guy said he king King Saul. King Saul was too weak. So he stabbed him and killed him. King David said, By you saying something, you already stretched your hand. What has your mouth got to do with your hand? Je yeah. King David says, spiritually, your mouth is your hand. Yeah. How do you possess things? Is it not with your mouth? Yeah. Jesus said, you shall have whatever you say. Yeah. He didn't say, you shall have whatever you hold. Yeah. He said, you shall have whatever you say. Whatever you say. Yes, he didn't say, you shall have whatever is in your hand yes, or whatever you hold. Yes, your hand is your mouth. Yes, sir. 
Paul says, when I visited the church at a particular region, they gave us the right hand of fellowship. Yes, the church in Macedonia, actually. Yes, he said, they gave us the right hand of fellowship. But you will never see where they were holding his hand. Yes, but they were telling him, welcome. Yes. You see that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. King David said, how was it that you were not afraid to stretch your hand? Against the Lord's anointed. Now, I want you to understand something. Mm -hmm. This Lord's anointed being talked about committed suicide. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He, he didn't get what I'm trying I to say. I get what you're saying. No, I know you didn't. Let me tell you something. When you hear somebody dies, mm -hmm. and you have no knowledge about how the, the person died, never presume yes, yes. what the cause of death is. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's true. Don't say, I think it was overdose. Mm. Do you know whether it was overdose? Mm. You know, he, took a, he used to take drugs. That does not mean that it was drugs that killed yes, him. Yes, he has been taking drugs for, 50, for 51 years. Yes, he has yes, not died. Yes, Why? Yes, <laughs> yes, sir. I think it's the weed. Too much weed. Oh. You don't understand. Isn't it amazing that even the doctors say smoking is dangerous for your head? Do you know how many doctors who smoke? Do you understand? But they know how to take care of themselves. <laughs> you don't hear that they have lung problems. Someone say, Dr. Collins is smoking now. Why can't I smoke? <laughs> Are you Dr. Collins? <laughs> Dr. Collins has been trained medically that there's a particular gauge of number of sticks you have to take in a day. You, you don't know anything. You saw Dr. Collins smoke, he said. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Collins. How's the day, man? <laughs> Some break out their tongue, they want to roll the smoke. <laughs> Look at it. You see that mouth? <laughs> Your mouth became an otter, releasing smoke. <laughs> you see that mouth? <laughs> you see, ah, doctor, 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 colleagues, doctor, colleagues, we are smoke bodies. <laughs> what was that one that did? That Arabian one that did? Oh, hookah. Hookah. We do hookah together. <laughs> <laughs> so you see <laughs> okay do you know Dr. Collins is do you know how many people Dr. Collins treats of excess smoking who meet at the hookah spot <laughs> Some say, no, I, I don't smoke. I only take vape. Vip. Mm. It's just water. Water and mentor. Mm. <sighs> and the people who manufacture these things, many of the executives don't even take it. Oh. They know you are there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All like cocaine. You see the best? Your head will knock one day. <laughs> oh, does the oh man. Okay, see what King David. King David called King Saul the Lord's anointed. Yeah, the Lord's anointed just committed suicide. And King David said, "You are still presuming his death in the affirmative." Let's show you something. And King David said unto him, How was it that thou was not afraid to stretch forth thy hands to destroy the Lord's anointed? And David called one of his young men and said, Go near and fall on him. Yes. See that? That sure. means go and kill him. Mm. That's what he meant by go near and fall yes. on him. Yes. That means go and kill him. Okay, now look at verse 16. And he smote him that he died. And David said unto him, Thy blood be upon your own head. 
For thy mouth has testified against thee, saying, I have slain the Lord's anointed. The guy didn't know. Going to talk was a suicide mission. Oh. And that suicide was very justified. Yo, ma. Yo, ma. You said, you said, you gave me the peace of your mind. Now, I want you to see something. If you read verse 17, David lamented over King Saul after he had killed that guy. But go to, um, uh, this is Second Samuel, right? Yes. Go to First Samuel chapter 31. I, I want you to see something in verses 1 to 6. I, I, the, the reason why this is very, very important is because um, why should the anointed die this way? Mm. Why should the anointed ever put themselves in a situation where they now have to take their own life. Now, another thing again, you see, suicide, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. say it with me, suicide, suicide. is actually a destination, a destination on a journey you took. Wow. Yes, sir. Wow. Yes, sir. Wow. Say this, say suicide. Suicide is actually a destination. It's actually a destination. But for the person to arrive at that destination, it means that the person embarked on what? On a journey. Yes, but what journey? Journey of pursuit. You must be very careful. Who you pursue in life. Mm. You are not yes, getting sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You must be very yes, careful yes, sir. Yes, sir. what you are pursuing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because once you don't achieve that thing, yes, sir. you feel so defeated yes, sir. and you blame yes, others yes, sir. as the basis, as the reason for why you did not achieve that thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But what you didn't know was that that thing has brought you to a destination. Oh. And the only way is to not return back to where you were coming from. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. So in order to hide that defeat, you take your own life so that we can all blame it on the circumstance. Yes. But when we do, as a, uh, by saying that it was the circumstance that caused the death, yes, we all carry causes on our own wow. heads. So you see, suicide is carries grave and great ripple effects. And the ripple effects are worse than the one who committed the suicide. King Saul's suicide yes, sir, yes, caused sir. the death of one man. Yes, sir. Because one man said he knew how he died. Oh, it's true. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, That's yes, the sir. thing. Yes, sir. The moment you hear someone took his life. Shut up! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even if your friend says, what do you think? He said, I don't think anything. I don't think anything. It's a cobweb oh. that you can never, never escape from and you don't know it. That's why suicide is very dangerous. It is not in the dead. The real effects of suicide yes, sir, yes, sir. is on those who are alive. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Discussing yes, sir. it. Wow. Yes, sir. Wow. How do you, how, what do you think happened to him? Say, I don't think anything. I don't know what happened to him. It's not my business. True. Why he took his own life? Only him and God know. Yes, sir. Only him and God knows. Hey, but, uh-uh. We still need to know. Well, let's wait for the autopsy. Uh, even if autopsy comes out. Don't tell me. 
You know, a young lady died, and the way she died, she actually slept and did not wake up. Mm. Ah, I said, Lord, this death is strange. Mm. I don't know why, but there's just something about this death. Mm. And all I kept seeing around, all I kept sensing was, this, this thing is a suicide. Mm. Even the way she slept, I know that, I'm not saying people can't sleep well and die. But I said, Lord, this thing is a suicide. I said, but Lord, please forgive me for even thinking that. The Lord said, yeah, you're actually correct, but shut up. Oh. <coughs> so I visited the family. I asked, but what really happened? They said she just slept like that and just did not wake up. Then the Lord said, didn't I tell you, shut up. There are. Let me read something to you. Yes. Listen, what we're about to read yes, sir. is funny. Yes, sir. In our next class, I'll tell you more about it, yes, why sir. I say it is funny. Yes, sir. But let me begin to give you a hint about what we're about to read. Yes. King Saul originally was appointed king, commander of the army of Israel, so that he can deliver the children of Israel from the Philistines. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Follow this carefully. Yes, sir. Don't look at the screen. Look at me. Follow this carefully. Yes, I'm about to tell you something that will amaze you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, why was King Saul anointed king? So that he can defeat the Philistines. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. That was why God made him king. Yes sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. But God now sent him on a different mission. Mm. An interim mission. Go and kill the Amalekites. Yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Destroy everything that they have. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. He went, he did not fully obey. Yeah, yeah. He did not fully destroy everything. Yes, and came back and fed everything was okay. Oh. After all, the primary reason why I'm made king is not because of the Amalekites. Yes. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's the Philistines. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But he didn't know. That side journey God gave him. Oh. That he went and came back yes, sir. and not fully obey God's command yes, sir. made God reject him to continue the primary mission. Yes, sir. Wow. It's true, God wants you to be a doctor. But my uncle owns a pharmacy store. He said I should just assist him for now. He said, I can't do it. No, no, no. It's medicine or not. Okay, uncle, I will help you. But I'll come whenever I like and all that. See that thing? You see that doctor? You will never become that doctor. Because you were assisting on as his secretary for now. Handle it very well. Yes. Yes. Yes, and you didn't. Mm. Because what God told you is that it is medicine. Mm. You, it is true. You even got admission to medical school. You are even doing medicine. Mm. You are on break for now. Uncle says, please come and help me out with my pharmacist. I say, no, no, no. How can I come and help you run a chemist? I'm doing medicine. Okay, I'll help you on one condition. I'll be coming on weekends. Whenever I feel like. You see that medicine you're studying? You've just lost it. And what you didn't know was that there was something great God planned for you. And he used this one to test you to be sure whether you were really the right choice for that thing. That's why when the Lord told me to turn down the offer on Wall Street, one brother came in church. The brother did not know. 
the offer that I was given, a member of church yes, came sir. and said, Brother Ozzy, I run a janitorial service. Would you wow. like to assist me? Come and be my, my general manager and all that. Wow. But it's $10 per hour. Oh. Ah. I just turned down a $600 yeah. per hour job. Yes, sir. They gave me $10 per hour job. Yes, sir. I said, no problem, sir. I'll do it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing it very well. And that man was the one who taught me the secret of how the American financial system run. But he was the owner of a janitorial service. Wow. He said, call let me teach you. And taught me things. How to be strategic. How to make money in America. Wow. But he came to America to play soccer. Wow. <laughs> Owned a 1.5 million, 1.8 million dollar property in Connecticut. Yeah. Wow. Own another one in Georgia. Yeah. Eight rooms with a basketball court yeah. and a cinema yeah. underground wow. in his Connecticut home. Wow. Wow. And we used to take the train. He used to come and sleep in our house. Mm. But he was my boss there. He was a pastor. When I first got an apartment on Liberty Avenue, he furnished it. Let me teach you something about the American financial system. Wow. He said, Pastor, I don't really know Buko, but I know some things. So. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll just be laughing. I said, oh, God, teach me. I don't, I don't even know how to learn. He said, Pastor, you are very humble. Though. You know, God will push you forward. Yes. He used to tell me, God is going to make you rich. God is going to make you great in America. He would say, My pastor. If he sees me, he would say, Pastor, Pastor, this man is a multi millionaire. Wow. But we'll be walking on the street, we'll buy coffee, we'll be gisting. Wow. And I was working for him. He would take me to meetings. I would see influential people. He'd say, Pastor, I'm a small boy. God. <laughs> he was introducing me to the Jews, the top Jews wow. in Manhattan. Wow. And when they see, they say, Ali, his name is Ali. I used to call him Oga Ali. I used to call him Ogasa. And when those people, Ali, Ali, you see, yeah. he's Nigerian, no? wow. but Ali, you know, Ali, Ali, Ali. <laughs> You look, you see me say, Pastor, you will be very wealthy. Oh. Wow. Pastor, don't forget, don't be like me. Oh. <laughs> don't be like me. Oh. <laughs> his wife, we told you, the first thing he told me about his wife is the cream she uses. Yeah. One small tube like this, $800 for the wow. particular cream she uses. He said, Pastor, I'll bring my wife for you to see one day. The day I saw the wife, I said, Jesus. <laughs> I said, oh God, this one is a goddess. So wow. He said, Pastor. And he used to say it in PG. He said, I marry yellow papa. Oh. Do you understand? Mm. But this woman, her beauty, mm. yes, she's a prayer house. Mm. Say, forget her. She's the one praying, and I'll be sleeping. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> he said, but she's very expensive, Pastor. One tube, he brought it as you see. The one, the last one, she's using the last one, so I had to go and buy some more. Wow. Each one is 800. Wow. See, Pastor, I have to do it too. Wow. I said, I want to marry Yellow Papa. <laughs> God will always test you with a side journey. Yes, sir. You really didn't know how you felt. You actually didn't know how you felt. We just told you how people fall. Mm. God will test them with a side, yes. a, a side like an ad hoc, yes. like yes. come and just go on a side mission yes. a bit. Yes. Just go. The main mission is still there. Wow. You are saying this one, you treat it like rubbish. It is the main mission, wow. the main mission, the main mission that you already lost yeah. when you went for the side walk. Wow. You don't know that the side one. Mm. I mean, how do you expect to drive your car? Right? Yes, sir. That requires gas yes, from New Jersey to Atlanta without stopping at a gas station oh, yes. to fuel yourself. It's true. That side thing that yes. you were told to, yes. that uncle that was running the chemist store who said, yes. Come and just help us out. Yes, sir. You didn't know it was an opportunity for you to refuel yourself for the main thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. King Saul said, After all, come on now. Is Amalek. The main thing is the Philistines. 
But because he failed with the Amalek, yes, sir. with the Amalekites, yes, sir. he could not even defeat the primary reason why he was made king oh. by God. He could not fulfill it. Unknown to even King Saul, King David was a mercenary for the Philistines. Yeah. <laughs> That's one thing about God. He can tell you this is where he's taking you to. And then test you with something. And say, I mean, I dropped a $600 per hour job to be a janitor. To be cleaning ovens. Wow. I did not complain one day. And that guy taught me the secret of the financial system. Wow. Of America. Yes, sir. He taught me a lot. Wow. <laughs> but he was already a janitorial service. He knows my heart in the in and out of it, back and front. Wow. All the restaurants. I mean, the major restaurants in Manhattan, he was the one managing them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are studying engineering. Your uncle said, I, I, I run an electric store. Come on, so still learn something. Say, no, 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 I'm doing engineering. What is electric? <laughs> How can I be an electrician? <laughs> See, you need to understand The system of the world today yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is not for no men yeah. It's for yes men yes. Yes. You must learn to be a yes, yes man, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes sir Yes sir Come and do this Yes sir Yes sir, yes, sir. Oh okay sir And do it with your heart yes, sir. Mean that yes, yes sir. Not no No <laughs> Let just say no. There are certain people you don't say no to. It's true. It's true. That's why some people don't finish well. Some people don't finish well. The same God. Ah, God, you told me to go for medicine. The same God now sent a man of God to tell you, I think you should start with social works first. So I said, no, 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 it's medicine. Okay, do social works. Get the degree of social works. Then you can apply. No, 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 no. I just want to read from my MCAT. God who raised King Saul to be king, so as to defeat the Philistines, was the same God who said, go and attack Amalek. You don't know? God will tell you this is what he wants you to do, but he will give you side journeys, side things to do, yes, things sir, on the yes, side. Sir, yes, sir. Those are the things to fuel you for the top. Yes, sir. And you maltreated or mistreated mm. the things you consider insignificant. Mm. They didn't even manage it well. Because mm. it's okay. That's why God told me, don't buy this person a car. How has she treated the one she already has? Mm. Then one time I was praying for the person to have a job. And the Lord said, don't worry yourself. When they are ready, I'm ready. Wow. I said, Lord, please. Wow. Wow. There was one sister. As at the time I knew her, she was already a medical doctor in Nigeria, came to America, but she was trying to get her license. license. Yes, sir. The first level one exam for many years had not passed. Wow. Wow. See, she still left this ministry. She did not pass it. As at the time I knew her, Sister Anita was still studying French oh. in her first degree. You know, Sister Anita studied French. I read English, so English is even better. I did the English language in my first degree. Sister Anita studied French. She was still in French school in the university. When this person was already a medical doctor trying to get her license here, still did not pass. Since Anita has graduated, she still has not passed that first level. You don't understand. She was even the one trying to encourage Sister Anita. Uh, I mean, sometimes from time to time she would want to talk and all that. Sister Anita now is a doctor. She still has not passed that level one. She can't pass. It's not a course. There are things you don't push on the side. <laughs> God who told you, go and fight the Philistines, is the same God who will tell you, fight the Amalekites first. Mm. Yes. And each time King Saul had the opportunity to fight the Philistines, either Jonathan will go and do it, yes. and he will be angry. Yes. Jonathan will finish the Philistines yes. and come back. Why King Saul is still preparing? Yes. <laughs> but the reason why God raised King Saul to be king is because of the Philistines. Yes. 
Jonathan that is his son, who was not even going to be king, will go and do the job and say, Daddy, I'm back. Why they are still training? It's true. Yes, sir. King Saul will be angry. I'm the one God raised to be king. How can you do it? When even Amalek, you could not even defeat. God knows how to rubbish people. Don't let God rubbish you. I'm telling you, ah, Father, please, I'm messing up on me. <laughs> Don't let God rubbish you. I know you have a degree now. Someone come and say, please come and just help me um, look for, uh, manage my, my, my baby store. You know, stores where I sell baby things for two weeks. I'm traveling to Africa. Just manage it for me. You know, I have this store where I sell crayfish, crab. Come, come and just manage it. Say, mommy, don't you know I read the law? You don't know whether the man you will meet that will marry you, that will make your life complete, like scrub. Say, oh, this crab. I read law. I don't know why I'm, why I'm, why, what am I doing with crab? <laughs> Aren't you glad you are reading law? They told you to just manage crab. Ah. It's law. Ah, it's law. Even when customers say, ah, madam, this, 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 this price for this, uh, this weight of crab is too expensive. <laughs> say, please, please don't insult me. You don't know I'm a law student? <laughs> Who told you I like to even say scrub? Uh, crab? Go, Joe, go, Joe. <laughs> and until God comes back from Africa and say, so how was it? Say everything was fine. You didn't even make money for auntie. Auntie even give you some cash from me, sir. Which you are even going to use to pay for your law courses. Honestly. You didn't know you became a king, so. Jesus. Lord have mercy. When he did not fully do what God wanted him to do in Amalek, God rejected him from being king to defeat the Philistines. And when he finally confronted the Philistines, he could not defeat them. He committed suicide. The side journey is as important as the main journey. Yes, sir. Because when you are embarking on the main journey, when God, who originally gave you that main journey, yes, is angry with you, you are on a suicide journey. Mm. Because the end result will be suicide. It was in the battle against the Philistines that he committed suicide, which was primarily the reason why he was made king. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But when God became angry with him, he thought he was fulfilling destiny. He didn't know he was on a journey to committing suicide. That's why suicide is a destination. Yes, sir. But he thought that he was fighting the battle for which God originally called him. True! But God already rejected him halfway. Before he ever confronted the Philistines. You need to understand. Somewhere the seer was not a soldier. Before King Saul was chosen to be king, he, somewhere the seer, will prophesy the defeat of the Philistines. And the armies of Israel will go. They will rubbish the Philistines. Yes, 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 yes. And if the Philistines were becoming too powerful, he, somewhere the seer, from where he was sitting, he will release tumors. Tumors. Ah, tumors. Yes, sir. Cancer. Yes, sir. He will release it into their bodies. Uh -uh. So it's not as if it's hard for God to defeat yes, yes. your enemy. But God has said, you know what? Instead of going spiritual, let me just raise a man so that it can be a physical battle. Yes, yes. Someone can do the job. Yes, yes. From his mouth, two months went up the, the armies, yes. their bodies. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It, when they took the Ark of the Covenant in 1 yes, Samuel chapter 4, yes, when they were returning it, yes, they had to even do, they had to make um, um, offerings yes, sir. of yes, gold yes, sir. by creating images of tumor yes, sir. that they were plagued with yes, sir. as an offering back to Israel. Yes, sir. Two more. Two more. They made, they gave two more as an offering. Yes, sir. Two more. You know what they call two more? Yes, T U M O R. Yes, sir. Two more in people's bodies. Yes, sir. When they saw the way the thing looked yes, sir. in their bodies, they decided to create that same replica in gold. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As an offering yes, back to the children of Israel yes, as they were returning the Ark of the Covenant. Yes, that was when Samuel was the one plaguing them. Yes, 
Yes, sir. When they took the Ark of the Covenant, Samuel began to plague them with tumors. Yes, sir. They were defeated in their own land without a sword. They returned there. They said, no, no, no. We don't want any more tumors. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So God knows how to fight the battle. Yes, but he now give you an opportunity. opportunity. You just leave. Let it look very physical. Ah, sword to sword. Ah, bish. Ah, bah, ah, bish. Ah, God just said, let me just see something I can just look. Let it look physical. So that they don't say God is cheating. It's true. They God will not accuse God. Oh. Seeking. So he thought he was going to do something extraordinary. Ah. Something God has been using Samuel to do. From where Samuel is sitting. He will release tumors into the stomach of the generals. They will sleep and wake up with big tumors. Some their face. Their bodies. Their wives will carry tumors. Children. <laughs> they say no. We are not fighting these people. They gave offerings in gold. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. They gave offerings in in gold, yes, in the image of all tumors, yes, back to Israel. Yes, sir. Israel had to melt it to make vessels, vessels out of it. So, when you miss the side instruction God gave you, the original purpose of your destiny, if you still want to attain it, you're already on a suicide journey. Wow. Particularly when you disobeyed God on the side thing He told you to do. You thought that by insulting pastor, you can still fulfill your destiny. <laughs> and in pursuit of fulfilling that destiny, you had an accident and died. Hey. Or in trying to graduate from that course, one guy carried a gun, AR-15, and shot. Ga -ga 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 -ga. He thought he was acting in their movie. Bish, 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 bish. Ga -ga 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 -ga. He killed you. Anything you are told to do, particularly when it's coming from the mouth of your pastor, your prophet, yeah. yes, yes, say, please, yes, yes. I, I know you are studying medicine, but help us just, just do that mixer. Just do that. Go and do it very well. Yes, sir. Yes, oh, sir. go and sing. Something. <clears throat> My voice. <clears throat> I, I don't sing very well. <laughs> you see that thing you just said? Oh. It's the reason why you will never be able to argue a case before a judge oh. as an attorney. You don't know. The only way you can defeat the Philistines is to first defeat the Amalekites. Yes, sir. That's how God runs his things. Yes, sir. He will show you the major picture, but he will test you with the minor things. God told us to take Moriah, 10,000 square feet. We were there. We still lost it. We went to 1,200 square feet. From a 10,000 square feet. We were there for one year. I did not complain. Then God now brought us here. Yes, sir. This is about 4,000 square feet or something. Mm. Yes, I did not complete. From 10,000 square feet to 1,200 square feet. No fan. I'll be sweating. The Lord said, wear tie. Hi. Suit and tie. Yes, sir. I said, but Lord, I let, I'm sweating. The Lord said, suit and tie. Hi. And I'll be sweating. If you watch some of our old days, sweating. The Lord said, preach it. You don't understand. Yeah. That's Amalek there. Yeah. <laughs> if you must defeat the Philistines, you must first of all conquer the Amalekites. That's why for King David to become king, he had to kill the Amalekites. Yes. Mm. Yes. Because that Amalekite would never let, let King David reign. Yes. Because he would tell people, he made King David king. And that crown of King Saul that he really brought, King David never wore it. King David wore the crown of a defeated king. Another king that he defeated. Yes. It was that king's crown King David wore throughout his life. But the crown of King Saul, he kept it on the side. Refused to. Because an evil hand brought it. The hand of a man who presumed he killed the Lord's anointed. King David never wore that crown. It was, even though it was his right to. He wore another king's crown. We have a lesson on YouTube. It's titled, Who Took Your Crown? Yes. Yes. That was where we taught that lesson. Yes, many, many years back. Yes, sir. Who took your crown? Let's close. I didn't even get to read this. In our next class, we'll look at this uh, first. 
Let's read it. Would you like? Yes, would, would you yes, mind? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so let's read from verses one to six. One to go. Now, now the Philistines fought against Israel, and the men of Israel fled from before the Philistines. Now you need to understand the reason why they fled was because of King Saul. One man in your midst can be the reason for your defeat. Yes, sir. Meanwhile, the person was supposed to be your champion. Wow. Listen, let me tell you something. Yes, sir. Do you know that brotherhood can be the reason why you fail? Wow. Particularly if I do something God is not pleased with. What God will do is that he will, be the re- he will make everyone that is connected to us not to excel. Wow. You don't know? That's why we say, pray for us. Say, ah, God, let brothers never offend you so that things can be well with me. You don't know? That's why we said, there's a way a prophet's life can be the reason, it can be a trap. <laughs> Say, Lord, as he's doing well with you, Lord, open my way. (laughs) All right, now let's read from verses 1 again. One, two, go. Now the Philistines fought against Israel, and the men of Israel fled from one of the Philistines, and fell down slain in Mount Gilboa. And the Philistines followed out upon Saul and upon his sons. And the Philistines slew Jonathan, and Abinadab, and Malchishua, Saul's sons. And the battle went so against Saul, and the archer escaped him, and he was so wounded of the archer. Then he sent Saul unto his armor bearer, draw thy sword, and trust me through glory. Let this young circumcise come and trust me enough, and lose me. But his armor bearer would not. For he was so afraid. You see that? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, read now. Therefore Saul took the sword and fell upon it. And when his armor bearer saw that Saul was dead, he fell likewise upon his sword and died with him. You see that? He also committed suicide. Ah! His boss has committed suicide. He also had to commit suicide too. But this was the Lord's anointed. One that was once celebrated. Because he disobeyed God on a side mission. He could not even accomplish much on the main mission. Couldn't. He was defeated. And he couldn't, he couldn't imagine returning back home defeated. Because the people knew the reason why he was made king was because of the Philistines. Yes, sir. Hi! When he was face to face with destiny, he failed. You see, that's the thing. Because this was his destiny. He was supposed to destroy the Philistines. Something is better. See that? I, I used to tell some young guys then in our midst. I used to tell them that focus on your school. Pay attention. Do well in school. One thing I will never like is to hear your families blame church because you did not excel in school. And I still mean it today. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because you don't know what can anger God. Yes. Particularly when your family is not blaming church as the reason why you did not do well in school. Your family can't escape. The thing is that your family now have not, have not entered the trap. Ah. Why would you be face to face with destiny and fail? The Bible says he was even wounded when he was in face to face with destiny. You would think now, hi, now is the time to attain destiny after you failed the side mission. 
the side instructions the man of God gives you to do. Yes, sir. They are the fuel mm. you need yes, to reach the main thing, yes, the main yes, destination for your yes, destiny. Sir. You never fueled yourself with the right gasoline. And he stopped halfway. He didn't have the right gasoline. Before his eyes, a 17-year-old boy killed the champion of the Philistines. Later on, Jonah, when he tried to attack that 17-year-old boy, his son defeated the Philistines. This was the first time in years. He reigned for 40 years as king. But this was the very first time in 40 years he stood before the enemy for which he was raised to be king. And he was defeated. He couldn't take it. He took his life. Some say, I will never, never commit suicide. Look at you. You that disobeys everything they tell you in church. And you say you will not commit suicide. <laughs> you already, you've already started. They say, join the choir. Say, so, why should pastor tell me to join the choir? He knows I can't sing. <laughs> Who told you God will ever tell you to do something you are good at? Who told you that? Whoever told you God <laughs> will tell you to do something that you are good at? <laughs> Never miss God. Yes, sir. I'm telling you, don't miss God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The same pastor said you are going to be great in life. Yes, he now tells you, eh, but I think you should just at least walk in that restaurant now. You can start. There's nothing wrong if you are a waiter for a few months. Say, no, but I just want to focus. No. That side instruction yes. is what can make you attain the main one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because it is that side instruction that God will use yes, to appraise you. Katanji Brown Jackson. It was after her confirmation, some of her friends started saying that they were always teasing her. How come you became a judge when you are good with music? But she used to sing. She sings in her church. Yes, she sir. goes, she sings. But this is a judge, not a justice. Yes, sir. But she sings in her church. Yes, sir. The side journey yes, sir. brought her to the Supreme Court today. Yes, sir. You may think it's the cases. If you are to go by her records as a judge, it did not favor her in any way. You saw the way the Republicans were lambashing her. Ordinarily, it was the mercy of God that put her there, even though she was qualified for it. And what did she say when she was talking with President Joe Biden at the Rose Garden after her confirmation? She said she wants to thank her church for praying for her. You know, the same church where she was singing, they were the ones praying for her. And she made it true. And she knew it to thank them. Wow. You don't understand. That was what King Saul did not have sense to do. He should have learned from her. The stories, the Bible says, they are written for our learning. They are examples for us to learn. Do you know where God is taking you to? Do you know where God is taking you to? Why have you become so comfortable coming to church late? Oh. Yet it is the same church where you receive prophecy of your greatness. You always yes. come there late. Yes, always come late. The same church where you receive prophecy for your greatness. Yes, <laughs> that means that greatness may come late. Hey. Or you may never attain it at all. I already said, let's close. So talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Grant me a new beginning. Help me. Lord, may I never stop halfway. Help me. Talk to the Lord. Yeah. Amazing.
Messiah's majesty, Messiah majesty. Yeah. Every day your praise will come from me for your faithfulness was me. 